Good morning, everybody. A um, couple of days ago, I had posted in the group that I had done one of these basswood planks. It's a tree trunk slice of basswood with the live uh, bark edging on the on the edge there. And I did what was called the borax method. And the purpose of the borax method was twofold. One, it was to test out the method itself. I've seen other people doing it, and I was impressed with the results. And uh, the second reason was to show people who weren't sure about the borax method exactly what it was. The borax method is used um, when you want to make a, I guess you could call it a, a, like a darker engraving in the wood. Now, it doesn't only have to be bass wood, it could be a cutting board, it could be any type of wood, okay? So it doesn't matter. So for the borax method, you're going to need a tablespoon or a, something that measures a tablespoon because you're gonna be using this. Now this, I can't find it in any stores. I had to order it from Amazon, all right? This is the Borax powder. Uh, it's a detergent booster. Um, you can also use baking soda. I've done baking soda, but I like the Borax better. So as far as the ratio is concerned, you're gonna use one tablespoon, a level tablespoon of Borax, and then you're gonna add it to five ounces of really hot water. Boil it, microwave it, whatever. But the water has to be hot, so when you put it into your spray bottle, um, and of course, you, you know, you can use a funnel to pour it in or a measuring cup, whatever is easier for you. You wanna shake this bottle really, really well. In other words, you want the borax and the hot water to be completely dissolved. Now, I've seen some posts where they, you know, made the borax in the spray bottle um, and then they left it in there. And I don't recommend it because I did discover when I did leave it in the spray bottle, the borax started to crystallize and it was very hard to clean out, you know, the plastic stem that goes into the water. So I would suggest whatever borax uh, liquid is left over, empty it out, rinse out the spray bottle, and you'll be ready to go for the next time. So I'm gonna show you the mixing method and uh, give me a second. Okay, so I microwaved five ounces of water to make it really, really hot. And I'm going to take a tablespoon of borax. And I'm gonna try to make it as even as possible. Okay, put it in, put in your hot water. Remember, five ounces to one tablespoon. Sorry about the shake there, a little. Okay, and then immediately start to shake. You wanna make sure that it is completely dissolved. Now, for preparation, I took a fine sandpaper, in this case it was the 3M. Okay, so I finished shaking it, it is completely dissolved, all right? And to prep the wood, I'll lightly sand it, in this case I used 3M 150 uh, grade, and you lightly sand the wood, brush it off, uh, you know, to get off any loose dust or whatever, but what it does is it preps the wood for the borax application. When it comes to applying the borax liquid, you're gonna spray it on, and I'm gonna show you, and then I use these foam brushes. I don't use a regular bristle brush. I use a foam brush, you know, any width, it doesn't matter. And I just go back and forth on the wood, as you will see. So we're going to spray the wood. And of course, my hose is not in the place it's supposed to be. I'm sorry, give me a second. You'll evenly spray the wood and give it a nice, you know, wet coating. You don't have to create a, an ocean. And then you're gonna take your foam brush and then you're just going to run it up and down, go with the grain if you want, if it helps you. And there you go. You're gonna now let this dry for about 30 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, so we have placed our basswood plank into the Beambox 40 watt laser. 
the image we're going to be engraving, uh, like I said before, is going to be the same image we engraved uh, previously, uh, approximately 30 minutes ago. So uh, you can see the difference between plain engraving or borax method engraving. So uh, we're going to use a power of 25, a speed of 185 millimeters per second, and uh, stay tuned. Okay, so this job is going to take 41 minutes, and we've started the engraving on the basswood plank, and as you can see, you can see the darkness of the borax method. So we're going to come back in about a half an hour, see how we're doing, keep you up to date, and keep in mind that this method uh, can be used on any laser. In this case, like I said, we use our beam box lasers uh, from Flux. So, but this can be done with any laser. So it's going to be very interesting. So and you'll see the comparison between the regular engraved wood without the treatment and the borax treatment. But there you go. You can get an idea. Okay. See you in a few. We are now approximately 25 minutes into the engraving. And as you can see, the borax is burning into the wood rather nicely. And we've got approximately 18 minutes left for the engraving to be done. See you soon. So I wanted to end this video by giving you a comparison. All right. Now what you're looking at here is the image done without the borax method on a piece of basswood. Moving over to the right is the same image done using the borax method. Now, where you see the extra dark, uh, I guess, sooty-like residue, whatever, if you lightly brush it, it'll bring out the detail a little bit. I use a can of air. I haven't even done anything yet to this, but I just wanted to show you the difference between non-borax on the left, the borax method on the right. It still comes out beautiful, and hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit. If you have any questions, PM me or call me at my office at 631-730-7228 between the hours of 9 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, Monday through Friday, or on Saturdays from 10 to 4. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great Sunday.